First stop Italy, where we're making the classic margarita pizza. Gather these ingredients, two cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of olive oil, a cup of warm water, and a packet of yeast for the dough. For the topping, we need fresh mozzarella, ripe tomatoes, and fresh basil leaves. Start by mixing the dough ingredients and let it rise for an hour. Then, roll it out, add the toppings, and bake in a preheated oven at 475 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12-15 minutes. Next, we're heading to Spain for a traditional paella. You'll need two cups of arborio rice, four cups of chicken broth, half a cup of white wine, chicken shrimp, mussels, peas, and a generous pinch of saffron. Start by sautéing the chicken, then the shrimp. Add the rice and cook until it's translucent. Pour in the wine, broth, and saffron. Simmer until the rice absorbs the liquid, then add the mussels and peas. Cook until the mussels open, and your paella is ready to serve. Our third destination is France, renowned for its ratatouille. This hearty vegetable stew calls for one eggplant, one zucchini, one bell pepper, one onion, two tomatoes, two cloves of garlic, and fresh thyme and basil. Start by sautéing each vegetable separately in olive oil. Then combine them in a pot, adding the garlic, herbs, salt, and pepper. Let it simmer until the flavors meld together. Next, we're off to Germany to prepare the classic sauerbraten. This dish requires a three-pound beef roast, two cups of red wine, two cups of water, one onion, one carrot, one celery stalk, ten juniper berries, ten peppercorns, two bay leaves, and four cloves. The key here is to marinate the beef in the wine, water, and spices for two to four days. Then, roast it in the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about four hours. Our fifth stop is England, where we're making the quintessential fish and chips. For this, you'll need two cod fillets, four large potatoes, a cup of flour, a cup of beer, and a teaspoon of baking powder. Begin by making the batter with the flour, beer, and baking powder. Dip the fish in the batter and deep fry until golden. Cut the potatoes into chips and fry until crispy. Moving on, we're off to Greece to prepare the traditional moussaka. This dish requires eggplant, potatoes, minced lamb, tomatoes, onions, garlic, and bechamel sauce. Start by frying the eggplant and potatoes. Cook the lamb with the tomatoes, onions, and garlic. Layer the fried vegetables and meat mixture in a dish. Top with bechamel sauce and bake until golden. Next stop, Sweden for the famous Swedish meatballs. You'll need ground beef, ground pork, breadcrumbs, onion, egg, allspice, nutmeg, and a creamy gravy. Mix the meat with the breadcrumbs, onion, egg, and spices, then roll into balls. Fry the meatballs, then cook in the creamy gravy. Now we're heading to Belgium for some delicious Belgian waffles. Gather these ingredients, flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, eggs, milk, and butter. Mix all the ingredients and pour onto a hot waffle iron. Cook until golden brown. Our ninth destination is Hungary, where we'll make a hearty Hungarian goulash. This dish calls for beef, onions, green pepper, tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, and lots of paprika. Start by sautéing the onions, then add the beef and paprika. Add the vegetables and simmer until tender. Finally, we're off to Portugal to prepare the sweet pastel de nada. This custard tart requires puff pastry, cream, sugar, egg yolks, and cinnamon. Roll out the pastry, fill with custard, and bake until the tops are caramelized. So there you have it. 10 spectacular European dishes you can make at home. From Italy's margarita pizza, Spain's paella, France's ratatouille, Germany's sauerbraten, England's fish and chips, Greece's moussaka, Sweden's meatballs, Belgium's waffles, Hungary's goulash, to Portugal's pastel de nata. Each dish, a culinary gem from its country, brought to life in your kitchen. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more such flavorful journeys. Until next time, happy cooking!